Hi guys, welcome back to SL Smartman YouTube channel. This is part 2 in making a fruit ninja game in scratch. So far I showed you how to code the fruits. So okay, first let's fix some bugs. So click on your fruit and go for this repeat until x position is lesser than negative 180 and change it as y position it's not x position it's y position and go for variables and you need to delete the chopped variable click ok then let's make a new variable chop for this sprite only click ok and go for here set my rotation and then set chop to false and go here and chopped is false then we need to set chopped to true it's ok now let's test our project so ok it works So now click on your fruit and let's make two new variables lives for all sprites and scope for all sprites. So grab a if else statement. Place this down here. So if chopped is equal to true, then we need to change our scope by one, else we need to change our lives by negative one. So now click on your logo and on the start we need to set our lives to 3 and set our score to 0. We need to go to front layer. So so we should come here. So okay, now let's test our project. So okay, the scroll increases and the lives decreases when we not slice the fruit. So okay, now click on your backdrop and when I receive start we need to wait until lies equals zero then we need to broadcast a new message let's say game over And then we need to wait a few seconds, wait like 0.4 seconds, and we need to stop all. So, okay, now let's test it. 
We'll wait without slicing the fruits. It's okay, it stops everything. Now we'll paint a new sprite. You say So okay, when green flag clicked, we need to hide and when I receive game over, we need to show. So okay, now let's make our slicer or our sword. So. Let's paint a new sprite and draw a small circle, just like on the middle. So, okay, that's enough. Now let's duplicate this costume and just delete the dot. So, this is our invisible costume. So when green flag click, we need to show and switch costume to costume 2 and forever grab an if then statement. So if mouse down, then we need to create clone of myself and wait 0 0.01 seconds then grab when I start as a clone you need to switch costume to costume 1 and we need to set size to 100 go for motion I need to go to mouse pointer and grab a repeat loop and change it to 5 need to change our size by negative 29 and we need to wait a few seconds you say like 0 0.05 seconds and we need to delete this quote so okay now let's test it so okay it works our slicer works so okay now let's paint a new sprite so I imported a splat costume so I named this sprite as splat so even you could draw a better one so now let's code it so when green flag clicked we need to hide and when I start as a clone we need to go to mouse pointer and we need to show we need to set our ghost effect to zero and we need to go to back layer and take a repeat block we need to set change our ghost effect by 10 and we need to wait 0 0.01 second we need to hide 
and delete this clump. Now go for fruit and you will see here set chop to true. Then we need to create clone of splat. Okay, now let's test our project. So okay, it works. So the splat is also there. And we chop the fruit. And our slicer works. So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe and share. And on the next video, I'll be showing you how to code a bomb and add a few sounds. So until I see you in my next video, bye!